What are the colors of signs that tell you the distance to the next exit on a highway? A. Yellow with black letters. B. Black with white letters. C. Red with white letters. D. Green with white letters. D. Green with white letters. Signs providing information about destinations are green with white letters or symbols. You must stop at an intersection when you see a A. Flashing red light B. Steady yellow light C. Yellow arrow D. Flashing yellow light A. Flashing red light A flashing red traffic signal has the same meaning as a stop sign. At an intersection with a flashing red light, you must come to a complete stop. Look both ways, and proceed only after the intersection is clear. A steady yellow light at an intersection means A. Go. B. Yield to other cars. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. D. Stop. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. A steady yellow light indicates that a steady red light will soon appear. If you are driving toward an intersection and a yellow light appears, slow down and prepare to stop. If you are already within the intersection or cannot stop safely before entering the intersection, continue through carefully. If two drivers arrive at the same time to an open intersection, A. The driver on the right has the right of way. B. The driver on the left has the right of way. C. One driver may continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should honk to indicate that they are giving up the right of way. A. The driver on the right has the right of way. If you arrive to an open intersection at the same time as a vehicle to your right, you should yield the right of way to that vehicle. You may then proceed when it is safe to do so. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. If a flagger is directing traffic in a construction zone, you must A. Follow the directions given by the flagger. B. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the flagger's instructions. C. Assume the flagger is not supposed to be directing traffic. D. Follow the laws that would be in place if the area was not under construction. A. Follow the directions given by the flagger. B. Prepare to reduce your speed and use caution when directed to do so by a sign flagger, or law enforcement officer. Failure to do so is illegal and is dangerous to those working in construction zones. A stop sign is shaped like a n a rectangle b square c circle d octagon d octagon an octagonal shape is used only for stop signs. All eight-sided signs tell drivers to come to a complete stop before proceeding. This road sign means A. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. B. The road ahead turns sharply left, then right. C. The road ahead curves to the left. D. Construction ahead. A. The road ahead turns sharply right, then left. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then to the left. This sign means A. Playground nearby. B. Low shoulder. C. One way. D. Finds double in work zone.
A. Playground nearby. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they are near a playground and should look out for children in or near the roadway. This sign is used to warn drivers a. That the right lane ends and traffic should merge left. b. That the road curves ahead. c. About upcoming intersections. d. About road construction. a. That the right lane ends and traffic should merge left. This sign indicates that the right lane on a multi-lane roadway ends ahead. Traffic in the right lane must merge left. This sign means A. A divided highway ends. B. A one-way street begins. C. A one-way street ends. D. A divided highway begins. D. A divided highway begins. This sign indicates that the road ahead becomes a divided highway. Keep to the right of the divider or median. A pedestrian starts to cross in front of your vehicle. You should A. Flash your lights. B. Slow down. C. Speed up and pass in front of the pedestrian. D. Stop and let the pedestrian cross. D. Stop and let the pedestrian cross. Slow down and be prepared to stop whenever you see pedestrians walking on or crossing the roadway. Be particularly careful where children are present. Always yield the right of way to a pedestrian crossing in a crosswalk. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance. A. Over your right shoulder. B. At your side mirror. C. Over your left shoulder. D. At your rearview mirror. At a light rail intersection, always. A. Look both ways before crossing tracks. B. Pay attention and obey all traffic signals. C. Share the road with pedestrians and bicyclists. D. All of these. D. All of these. You should never drive around lowered crossing gates. Always look both ways before turning across train tracks and always obey signs and traffic signals. Trains share the road with motor vehicles and bicyclists. When may you proceed through an intersection that has a stop sign but no stop line or crosswalk? A. After slowing down to verify that there is no cross traffic. B. After coming to a complete stop and verifying that it is safe to proceed. C. After you have stopped at least 20 feet prior to the intersection. D. After slowing down to a speed of 10 miles per hour. B. After coming to a complete stop and verifying that it is safe to proceed. Stop before the stop line or crosswalk at any intersection that is controlled by a stop sign. If there is a stop sign but no stop line or crosswalk, stop before entering the intersection and proceed when it is safe to do so. When turning right at a red traffic light, you should A. Not let your wheels stop rolling. B. Honk at nearby pedestrians. C. Come to a complete stop and yield to pedestrians and cross traffic. D. Ignore cross traffic. C. Come to a complete stop and yield to pedestrians and cross traffic. To turn right at an intersection that is controlled by a red traffic light, you must first come to a full stop. Check to make sure that there are no vehicles or pedestrians in or about to be in the path of your turn. Make sure there is no sign posted to prohibit the turn.
You experience an incident at work that has left you feeling angry. When you get to your car, you should A. Play the radio loudly so you won't think about it. B. Drive fast on the interstate to let off steam. C. Take a few minutes to cool off before you begin your drive home. D. Stop at your favorite bar and have a few drinks before driving home. You are coming to a railroad crossing where the crossing signals are flashing. You should A. Stop and look for a train. B. Slow down and look for a train. C. Look for a train, then speed up. D. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. A. Stop and look for a train. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must stop your vehicle no closer than 15 feet from the nearest rail if an installed electric or mechanical signal is giving warning of an approaching train. Be aware of other warning signs that may indicate an oncoming train, including seeing a lowered crossing gate or hearing an oncoming train. When passing a large vehicle, the driver of a small vehicle must be prepared for a. Loud noises. B. Excess air pollution. C. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. D. Falling vehicle parts. Emergency vehicles. A. Have the right of way when using sirens, horns, and or flashing lights. B. May use a loudspeaker to give instructions. C. May follow each other. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must yield the right of way to police cars, fire engines, ambulances, or any other emergency vehicles using a siren or air horn and a red or blue flashing light. Follow any instructions given over the emergency vehicle's loudspeakers. Emergency vehicles often follow each other so you should proceed only when you are certain the way is clear. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. D. Road curve. B. Intersection. This sign indicates that AT intersection is ahead. Night driving can be more difficult than driving during the day because A. Cars overheat more quickly at night. B. Visibility is reduced in the dark. C. It is more likely to be raining at night. D. You are more likely to encounter a motorcycle at night. B. Visibility is reduced in the dark. At night, your field of vision is reduced. To make sure you are able to react to hazards on the roadway, always use appropriate headlights. Drive slowly enough that you are able to stop within the distance that you can see ahead. You are approaching a railroad crossing and you do not see or hear a train. You must stop. A. If a stop sign is posted. B. If a crossing gate is lowered. C. If the crossing lights are flashing. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must always stop before crossing railroad tracks if flashing red lights are activated, a crossing gate is lowered, a stop sign is posted, a flagger signals you to stop, or a train is visible or so close to the crossing that it would be hazardous to continue driving. If you are unsure if a train is too close for you to safely cross the tracks, stop. Never race a train. Texting while driving is A. Always legal, but not recommended. B. Illegal. C. A safe activity. D. Legal, but only for non-probationary license holders. If there are two railroad tracks next to each other. A. 
it is always safe to proceed after one train passes. B. You must always stop before crossing the tracks. C. When one train passes, look for another train on the other track before proceeding. D. Honk your horn as you cross the tracks. C. When one train passes, look for another train on the other track before proceeding. If there are two railroad tracks next to each other, watch for a second approaching train after one train passes. Do not begin to cross the tracks until you're sure no train is approaching from either direction on either track. How can you help prevent rear-end collisions? A. Avoid sudden stops. B. Before stopping, check your mirrors and blind spots for traffic. C. Release the gas pedal and let your vehicle slow before applying the brakes. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Stopping suddenly can make it difficult for drivers behind you to avoid a rear-end collision. When stopping, release the accelerator to allow your vehicle to slow. Press the brake pedal by applying steady pressure, activating your brake lights and causing the vehicle to stop smoothly. This sign means A. No trucks. B. Tow away zone. C. Lane shifting. D. Do not block intersection. A. No trucks. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. Large trucks are not permitted where this sign is posted. If two drivers arrive at the same time to a four-way intersection controlled by stop signs. A. The driver on the right has the right of way. B. The driver on the left has the right of way. C. One driver may continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should honk to indicate that they are giving up the right of way. A. The driver on the right has the right of way. Yield the right of way to the driver on your right at a four-way intersection if you both arrive to the intersection at the same time. You may then proceed when it is safe to do so. This sign means A. Stop. B. No U-turn. C. Yield. D. Do not enter. D. Do not enter. This sign is placed at the beginning of one-way streets and ramps to indicate that you must not continue driving in your current direction. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, the driver must produce a. Proof of insurance. b. Their license. c. Proof of registration. d. All of the above. D. All of the above. When stopped for a traffic violation or at an equipment check, the driver is responsible for producing their license, proof of registration, and proof of insurance. Drivers are required to have all three of these documents in a vehicle when it is being driven. What does this road sign mean? A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. B. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. D. Stop only for traffic on an intersecting road. B. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. A stop sign means that you must come to a full stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in or heading toward the intersection. Go again when it is safe. These signs indicate A. Hazardous objects. B. Slippery roads. C. Traffic signals. D. Intersections. 
A. Hazardous objects Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. These signs are object markers and warn drivers about objects or areas that may be hazardous and should be avoided. This sign means A. Turn left or continue straight. B. No parking at any time. C. Detour in 1000 feet. D. Stop. A. Turn left or continue straight. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign tells drivers that they may either turn left or continue to drive straight at an intersection from the indicated lane. Roads freeze quickly when they are A. Flat. B. Curvy. C. In the sun. D. Shaded. D. Shaded. In cold or wet weather, you should take special care on sections of road that are shaded by trees or buildings. These areas freeze more quickly than the rest of the road and are the last parts of the road to dry. The most common color of warning signs is A. Red. B. Yellow. C. Green. D. Blue. B. Yellow. Most warning signs are diamond shaped and yellow with black markings. These signs warn drivers about unexpected conditions that may not be readily apparent. You may drive across a dashed white line. A. At any time. B. Only during daylight hours. C. When it is safe to change lanes. D. Only when passing a motorcycle. C. When it is safe to change lanes. Traffic lanes moving in the same direction are separated by broken white lines. You may cross over dashed lines to pass, if it is safe to do so. When dealing with pedestrians, a driver must a. Make sure the pedestrian is aware of their vehicle. B. Always yield the right of way, even if the pedestrian is in the wrong. C. Yield the right of way only when the pedestrian is legally entitled to it. D. Slow down and sound their horn near a crosswalk. B. Always yield the right of way, even if the pedestrian is in the wrong. You must do everything you can to prevent striking a pedestrian or another vehicle, regardless of the circumstances. It is the driver's basic responsibility to be alert to pedestrians and to yield the right of way to all pedestrians, even if the pedestrian is crossing the street where they should not be. This road sign means A. You must travel at the speed indicated. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. C. You must travel through the intersection at the posted speed. D. None of the above. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. This is a speed limit sign. It indicates the maximum legal speed that you may drive on the road where it is posted. At times of rain, snow, ice, or other less than ideal conditions, you may have to drive more slowly than the posted limit. When you hear a fire engine siren behind you, you must A. Slow down until it passes you. B. Drive with your flashers on. C. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. D. Speed up and take the nearest exit. C. Pull over to the side of the road and stop. When you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, you must pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop.
In which of the following ways can alcoholic beverages affect you? A. It slows your reaction time. B. It gives you a feeling of false confidence. C. It impairs your thinking ability. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Alcohol dulls the parts of your brain that control inhibition, judgment, and self-control. As a result, you may feel stimulated, lively, and a bit giddy or foolish after consuming alcohol. Alcohol also impairs your reaction time, coordination, and balance. Your vision and ability to judge distance suffers after alcohol consumption, making it difficult to react to your surroundings. When you drive through an area where children are playing, you should expect them a. To know when it is safe to cross the street. b. To stop at the curb before crossing the street. c. To run out in front of you without looking. d. Not to cross the street unless they are with an adult. c. To run out in front of you without looking. You should always reduce your speed and use extra caution when children are in the vicinity. They may fail to understand the danger and may run out in front of you without looking. A. No standing, sign at a certain location means. A. You may never stop your vehicle there. B. You may park there if the driver remains in the vehicle. C. You may stop temporarily only to pick up or discharge passengers. D. You may stop to load or unload merchandise. C. You may stop temporarily only to pick up or discharge passengers. A. No standing, sign means that you may only make a temporary stop to load or discharge passengers. Another driver is trying to pass your car. You should A. Pull off the road. B. Signal to the other driver when it is safe for them to pass. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. D. Speed up. C. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to allow safe passing. Keep right when another driver begins to pass you on the left. Check for oncoming traffic and adjust your speed to let the passing vehicle move back into the right lane as easily as possible. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? A. CD player. B. Radio. C. Cell phone. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Using a cell phone, including a hands-free phone, or any kind of audio device, including a radio or CD player, can be a dangerous distraction and contributes to the risk of a crash. How can you lower the risk of hydroplaning? A. Do not speed when the roads are wet. B. Use tires with proper air pressure. C. Replace tires with bad tread. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Hydroplaning happens when a vehicle glides on top of a thin layer of water between its tires and the road. Tires with low air pressure or bad tread can increase the risk of hydroplaning. Speeding also increases the risk. If you see this sign above your lane, you A. May not exit the freeway. B. May either continue through the interchange or exit the freeway from your current lane. C. May stay in your lane and continue through the interchange. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. If a yellow panel with the message, exit only, is on a highway sign, 
the lane below the sign will not continue through the interchange. Instead, the lane will go off of the roadway to form a ramp. If you are in a lane directly under an exit only sign, you may change lanes to move through the interchange or you must exit the highway. The amount of space you need to cross traffic depends on the a. Road conditions, weather conditions, and oncoming traffic. b. Presence of a stop sign. c. Use of your turn signals. d. Cars behind you. a. Road conditions, weather conditions, and oncoming traffic. The amount of space you need to cross traffic depends on the road conditions, weather conditions, and oncoming traffic. The correct way to use a freeway exit ramp is to a. Slow down before entering the exit ramp. b. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. c. Keep your speed constant once in the exit ramp. d. Pass slower traffic in the exit ramp. b. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. When using a freeway exit ramp. Do not slow down until you move onto the exit ramp. This sign means A. No right turn. B. You must turn right. C. Watch for traffic on your right. D. Don't park on the right side of the street. A. No right turn. A sign with a red circle and slash over a symbol indicates that the action represented by the symbol in this example, a right turn, is not allowed. This sign means A. Added lane. B. No right turn. C. No parking anytime. D. Tow away zone. A. Added lane. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming added lane. Allowing a space cushion between your vehicle and its surroundings is important because it a. prevents distractions from other vehicles. b. allows you time to react to unexpected situations. C. Keeps traffic flowing at a safe pace. D. Keeps other drivers alert. B. Allows you time to react to unexpected situations. The only way to be sure you will have enough time to react to mistakes made by other drivers is to leave plenty of space between you and the vehicles around you.